So where we're going to start with this is, first off, we're going to go to the Google. And in Google, oops, let me get a right window open here. Got to love when things work with you. All right. So, and when I say go to the Google, yes, I'm being a little bit of a smart aleck, but the other part is um, you do need to do the same place I go. If you go to Bing or if you go to um, some other search engine or something else, you're not going to find the same image as I am, and things won't work the same. So when you do this, you're just going to search Pepsi bottle in Google. And with that, we're going to go to the Images tab. And for whatever reason, this changed up last hour. Before it was the number one search on mine was Amazon.com, free shipping to this Pepsi bottle. Um... This Target one has taken over and is now the number one one. Um, let's go ahead and just to stay the same um, with everybody because this is not a 20 ounce one. Let's go with this um, second one of the Amazon.com. So click on it. You may be blocked and not be able to get to Amazon.com. That's all right. We don't really want to go to Amazon.com. Really all we want is the image. So yours may come up a little bit differently than this because you can't go to the site, but you still should have the image over here on the left side of your screen or sorry, right side of your screen. Now, with this, two different ways you could do this. One, right-click and just copy image. However, that does not work with CAD. Um, you can copy and you can paste into CAD, but it doesn't actually save it in the actual um, drawing file that way. So instead, you have to do one more step, which is save image as. So right-click on it anywhere out there on the image and click on save image as. Go to your OneDrive. On your OneDrive, go to your CAD 1 and 2 folder. And I just save it right there underneath my root directory. And I save it as Pepsi Bottle. I already have mine saved from last hour, but I go to there, save it as Pepsi Bottle, click on Save. And I'm just going to go ahead and save over top of that one, and there we go. Okay, so once you have that saved, go ahead and go back to AutoCAD, or go to AutoCAD, start a nice new drawing. And you can't just right-click and paste it in here. Again, that does not embed it into the drawing. So instead, what you need to do is you need to go up here to the top to the Insert tab. From Insert, go over to Attach. Over to Attach. And then go to where you save that to. Your CAD 1 and 2 folder on your OneDrive. Scroll down until you find that Pepsi bottle drawing. And open it up. Once it comes into CAD, go OK, click once, and click again. You have a nice, really crystal clear image of a Pepsi bottle there. Okay, so next, everything you do in CAD, you want to make actual size. So right now, we don't know what the actual size of our bottle is. So I'm going to go on the top. I'm going to go to my Home tab. On my Home tab, I'm going to come here to the middle section, the annotation section we've used before and get this dimension, linear dimension, right here. So from there, I'm going to zoom in on my bottle a little bit. I don't want to measure the very, very top of the bottle, because that has the cap on there. We're going to draw this bottle without a cap, so I'm going to come down about the center of my bottle left to right, and down a little bit from the top, about maybe there, click. And then I'm going to dimension this to the very bottom of the bottle, down here to the bottom of the brown, right there, and click. And come over here and see how big I got that. Okay, so now your bottles are will vary widely in size. 15.7 um, inches. I think we all can visualize a Pepsi bottle is not 15.7 inches tall. Some of you might have as small as 1.2 inches. We know it's not that small either. Or you might have 2,000. We know it's not quite that tall, 2,000 inches tall. What we need to do is we need to find out the real size of a Pepsi bottle. Well, again, if we go out to the Google, we might be able to find that size. Whoops, let me get to a good tab here. Well, I've got too many tabs open. There we go. So, um, size. What is the size of a 20-ounce Pepsi bottle? Oh, wait, I didn't get the word size in there. That would help.
All right, there we go. Um, it's one of the size of a 20 ounce Pepsi bottle right here, 2.88 by 2.88 by 8.5 inches tall. If you dug through this, you'll find a bunch of a little bit varying dimensions, but it's just as simple to go with this 8.5 inches. So we're going to go 8.5 inches. So now what I need to do is I need to take the size my bottle is and the size I want it to be and do a ratio between the two. So I'm going to bring up my calculator. Pull that one over here. Pull up my calculator and, and let's do the math. Um, we're going to go the size I want it to be, which is 8.5 inches. Let me pull this up a little bit, maybe. 8.5 divided by 15.7775. Yours will be your number that you have. Equals. I get 0.5387418792584376. Memorize that number on your computers. Or, or don't, and highlight it instead, and go Control-C. So either memorize it or highlight it and go Control-C to copy it. Then, once you have that number found and copied, come back to CAD, and you're going to scale. I'm going to go SC for scale. I'm going to select my bottle with the dimension over there. Hit Enter. Pick the base point down here in the bottom corner of it. And then come down here in the bottom in my command line. Click and select right down there. Control V. Paste my number in there. My point five three eight seven four one eight seven nine etc. etc. And hit enter. And you see I get a bottle that's 8.5 inches tall on the money. Alright. Okay. Now that you have your bottle to the correct size. A um, couple things here we're going to look at. First off, number one. Um, I want to be able to put this picture, um, I want to be able to turn the picture on and off. And we've done different things like this before, but I want you just to see another use for it here. So to do that, we're going to go up to our layer properties, which is right up here um, in the middle. I'm zooming around at layer properties. Click on this thing that looks like the three sheets of paper. So click on that. Underneath of layer properties, we're going to make a new layer. New layer is right here. It's the three little sheets with the yellow star on it right there. You're going to click on it. And we're going to make the new layer just called image. I-M-A-G-E. Image. Whoops. If I could spell. Image. And hit enter there. And then just close out that box. So now what I want to do is I have nothing selected. I'm on layer zero right now. I want to select the image. Click on it. So select it. Turns my blue grips on it. When you do that, notice it brings you over here to this image tab. I want to go back to my home tab over here. And now I'm going to come back to my layer control. I'm going to hit on this down arrow. Opens up and I can see my different layers. Zero, def points, and image. I'm going to click on the word image. That's now switched this to the image layer. If I hit escape, you'll see I'm on the zero layer now. If I want to get rid of the image, I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to turn that sun into a snowflake. We've played with layers a little bit, but there your image is off, there your image is back on. You can turn it on and off that way pretty easily, um, and we're going to use that sum here later as we're doing that. We do want it on now, by the way. All right, now that we have our layers set up, the next thing we want to do is we wanted to start doing some drawing here. Um, so notice my cursor here. I have this white cursor out here on the blue. You can see it nicely. When I move my white cursor over here to the left, can you see my cursor nicely now? White cursor on white background really kind of tends to disappear. So what we're going to do now is, instead of us drawing a bunch of white lines that you really can't see when they're out here in the white, we're going to make our lines magenta. So we're going to come up here to our color control and pick magenta, the pink color down there on the bottom, for our layer, or for our lines. What I'm also going to do, you do not need to do this next step. I'm going to add a little bit of line weight to mine just so it's a little bit easier to see on the screen. And there we go. So now when I come out here and draw a line, you'll be able to see it a little bit, let it, a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. I want my line to connect right to the end of this dimension. Notice how mine's O-snapping to that. It's because I have an O-snap turned on that's called Node. So if you don't have that one turned on, come down here to your um, O-snap control. Hit the down arrow on it and turn on the node. 
By having node on, I can connect right there to that node and my drawing will be exactly the right height to where my dimensions are at, making this exactly 8.5 inches tall. So I'm going to start right there and with my line. All right, so now we've got this line connected here. What we're going to do is we're going to trace around the bottle and just work with me here for just a little bit. So first off, obviously this picture, you can see the top of the bottle is rounded and all that. We don't have a perfect side view. We're going to have to estimate some things here a little bit. So again, I have this starting not on the top of the blue, but right here where they think that clear bottle would start. I'm going to come straight to the side. I want this line here to be locked in with polar coming straight to the side. We're not going to go all the way over to the edge of the blue on the bottle, but we're going to go about here where the clear bottle is going to end. So about there-ish is good. Click. Come straight down. Again, ignoring the blue, we're going to come straight down to about down here where this little thing starts to angle out. Again, coming straight down to about there, and we're going to click there. And then we're going to go ahead and add in this little angle that comes out. We're going to come straight out with the angled line, straight down, and straight back over it. Now, here it doesn't show exactly this way on the bottle, but that's okay. We're going to do ours this way. Here I want this line to line up with the other one. So we're going to use our CAD skills. We're going to come up here. We're going to track straight down. Tracking, 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 right down to there, and right about there. And then we're going to come straight down with this one to about there. So we're going to pause right there with it and get that little, little shape drawn just for the top portion of the bottle. Okay, so now... Uh, this next portion of the bottle, we really can't do very good with the line. So we are going to use the arc command. We're going to go A for arc. I'm going to start my arc right up here. And I'm going to come down to about the middle of this brown side of the bottle, about to there. And then down to about here. Now, with this arc, if it doesn't look very good like mine here, it's off up here a little bit. Honestly, later I'll come back and I'll use the fillet command and round this off a little bit. But right now, I think I should pull this down a little bit, maybe something like that. And then when I use fillet, it'll be a little bit more um, appro appropriate shape there. But that sharp corner there, now this matches that curvature of the bottle pretty darn good. And coming down to about right there. So from here, I am going to go ahead and just go straight down. Now, this is an important one that when you do this, lock into the end of that line, make sure you're locked into polar and you're going straight down. Don't make this line at a little bit of an angle because things we'll do later won't work very well if you do that. So make sure you're locked into polar and it's coming straight down and then it'll come right down to about there. Now, this next section of the bottle, they are really pretty straight lines with a little bit of curvature at the top of the bottom. So again, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw straight lines and then fillet them. So here I'm going to come straight out to about there straight down to about there, straight to about there, and then there, and then about to there. There, I am going to go ahead and use an arc for this bottom portion. Just watch here for a second, and then we'll go back. So arc to about there, second point about here. Now here is where I'm going to go down here way below the bottle and just try to make this arc match this curve. So I'm just trying to make it match this curve right here. The bottom of the bottle, we can't do all these details in CAD. Uh, there's just no command that will do that easily in CAD. So we're just going to flatten off the bottom of the bottle. And I'm going to go ahead and come back here to my um, node of that dimension. And come straight over. And just trim off the bottom of this bottle. So I'm just going to trim it there. And we'll go back in a moment and fill it everything out. So really approximated that bottom there a lot. And we'll fill it here in just a second. Okay, so now the bottom of these corners, are they're awful short. So here we're just going to use fillet. We're going to go fillet. I tried last hour and a radius of 0.25 worked pretty good on most of these fillets. So I'm going to go F for fillet, R for radius, and set my radius to 0.25. I'm just going to go through here and fillet this corner at 0.25. Notice how that curved it off nicely. I'm going to scroll down. I'm even going to fill up this corner right here. Scroll on down all the way to the bottom. Fill up this bottom corner here. That looks pretty nice. Work my way back up. And just filleting all these corners. Uh, once you get all the way to the very top, um, not here, but all the way up here to the very top, a 0.25 fillet is a little bit big, I think. 
So I'm going to try a 0.15. Fillet radius 0.15. And 0.15 looks nice right there. And there we go.